On the desktop of my Mac, I've got a folder called Comments, and if I open it up, you can see that I've got three Adobe Illustrator files, which show three garments. Now these have been made at a different time, and all I want to do today is take these and place them in Illustrator or my artboard. So, let's go and do that. If we go to Illustrator, there it is. Now I've already made an artboard set up. This is an A3 artboard. So let's place the items in there. So file, place. Now, first thing to remember, is to click the first option, which is link. What this does is, rather than just saying, we've got an image, move it into the file. It says, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna keep a link, a connection to the original file in my folder. So, if I was to change that original file, my whole arrangement updates. So I can have maybe 20 or 30 garments in my Adobe Illustrator artboard, for maybe a range plan. And rather than having to open the whole document every time, which is very complex, I can open up a simple item, modify that as I like, and then update the master. So, select that, link, place. Now, I need to just leave this as a crop to art, that's fine. And, yeah, don't worry about this, that's just saying about the um, colour profile, that's fine. Now that's been placed in there. Let's go get another one. So we file, place, got the trousers, the link option is selected again, place, again, crop to art. Now we've got different items here, so media, blue, but art is fine. Okay, but it show again, I'm going to skip this for now. It just means the colour has got to work on um, updating the colours. And finally, file, place, link, place, crop to art, that's fine. So we've now got three items on our board. So the first thing I'll do is think about the general um, size of them. So I'm going to say that these are too small for what to do. So I'm just going to move them to they're roughly about the same connection to each other, roughly. Select all three of them by holding down the left mouse button, drawing marquee over the three items. Place them somewhere in the right side of the screen, so to the left. Hold down shift, very important. Tick the mouse over the top right point, so anchor point. Hold down the left mouse button and just drag it out, so move my mouse, drag it on and release it. So those are now about the right size. I think that's quite nice. So I'm going to show you how to arrange and distribute these on a page without even trying. So just to make things interesting, I'm going to move them around. They are totally disorganized. So firstly, we need to select all the There's two ways you can select everything. Firstly, we can draw a marquee over everything. It's just, just holding down the left mouse button, dragging it out of box over everything and releasing. As you see, everything in there has been selected. Another way of doing this is just selecting one, holding down shift, and selecting the other items. This is a really useful technique because let's say we only wanted the tops selected and not the trousers, hold down shift, clicking on the trousers, moves them. So everything, hold down shift, moves them. Hold on shift, left click, it brings it back. So it's a really simple way to add and move. So I've selected everything. What I need to do now is align everything correctly. At the top of the screen, we have a series of buttons for alignment and distribution. So we're going to have a look at what they are. Now, the first button to remember is the alignment um, toggle here. So we have three options, line to selection, Align to key object, align to art mode. We'll use all of these at some point in this tutorial. So let's select the first one, align to selection. If I select the first button, horizontal align left. The leftmost point of each file, each um, item, becomes aligned with the leftmost item on the board. See, I think up at the very left edge. If I undo that, so Control Z, 
then it goes back to how it was. Let's choose the other one, horizontal line centre. Now you'll see that what happened is everything jumped to the very centre of our selection. So if we look here, keep your eye on this area here, just to the right of the trousers. So the trousers will jump slightly to the right. And there you see, do it again, back and forth. So the centre point of every garment aligns with the centre point of the selection. I'll show you that again. I move the trousers over there. So select those three. Centre point of everything. Move those back there to show you more examples. Select everything again. The third one, which is horizontal line right, you can guess what's going to happen. All the right edges will align to the furthest right edge. So there it is. I'll do that. Now, for what we want to do, I want everything in line at the top. So I click here, the vertical line top. And the top points are line top. If I did that, vertical line center, center points align, and go to the bottom, vertical line um, bottom. But I want to go for the top, so it's that button there. Vertical align top. Oops, <laughs> click more. So we've now aligned everything to the, to the top, but it's not distributed very well. Those trousers are not in the middle of our group. So selecting everything, we go into the distribution options. So the six buttons at the end. Now the one I want is vertical distribute center. If I click that, the distance between center point here and center point there is the same center point of the jeans and the center point on the top. So these are now aligned at the top and are distributed equally on our group. What you'll notice though is that these items are not centered on the page. So how do we do that? Firstly, right click the group and it's group. That builds everything together and you can start treating all the items as if they are one. So if you click on the trousers, everything is selected. Click on the top here, everything is selected. This is where another state of alignment comes in. So on the drop down, the align to selection, we're going to choose align to artboard. Previously, when we've been using the alignment tools, it's been going to the left of the group, the right of the group, the top of the group, and so forth. What we're going to do is say the left of the page, the right of the page, or maybe the center of the page. So to show you this, we've selected align to artboard. I can click on the left. It goes to the very left. You see there, the edges align. Click right, you see the right edges align. I want center, so I click horizontal center align. So the center of our group is in the center of the page. Similarly, if I choose vertical align center, the vertical center there is in the vertical center of the page. In short, this group is now dead centered on the page. The group themselves are even distributed and the top edges are perfectly aligned. This is now perfect for what I want to do with my work. Next thing to do is look at modifying our items. We're going to look at that in a different video. So that's part um, four coming up. So everyone, 